Hi, this is Edward Crockett again. I'm going to redo this video that I did before about the hate crimes because the last video was a little bit weird where I was talking, or it looked like I was talking really fast and you only got half the information, so anyway, here it goes. On last Friday, I believe it was, there was a speaker at the University of Oregon brought by Pacifica Forum who are the darlings of the white supremacist movement and they spoke at the U of O. He is also He's the second speaker uh, of David Duke, who is the former Grand Wizard of the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. It says, David Duke's interviews with SUNY, which include lots of Holocaust denial, white separatism, and anti-immigrant diatribes, are featured on David Duke dot org and on stormfront dot org a neo-nazi website pacifica forum is promoting hate speech and white supremacist ideology under the guise of intellectual inquiry okay more about Tomislav sunik sunik has been hosted by neo-nazi parties and organizations in germany australia sacramento phoenix and other cities and countries. His sponsors include the Nationalist Coalition and National Vanguard, neo-Nazi white nationalist organizations, and the Council of Conservative Citizens and the European Americans Unites, white, suprem white supremacist organizations, um, when concerned citizens speak out against Pacifica Forum's promotion of bigotry, Pacifica Forum cries censorship, though they've not been censored, or say that a Jewish conspiracy is just trying to suppress the truth. Sadly, Pacifica Forum is making the U of O campus into a hub of white supremacist lectures and a site for potential neo-Nazi recruitment which increases the likelihood of racist, anti-Semitic, and anti-gay intimidation and violence in our community. Something we've seen before and we're seeing more of now. The best way to respond to their hate speech is with more free speech, by telling the truth about them, about history, and about the dangers of hate and bigotry. I know that nobody wants this in their cities and towns. If any of you that, that view this video, if you even so much as hear about this kind of stuff in your town, go and protest. Tell them, no, not in our town. We do not want hate crimes. Because that's what it produces. And now for the list of hate crimes that's happened here in Eugene in the last few weeks. May 9th, hate graffiti found at Spencer's Butte Middle School. May 28th, hate graffiti found at Cesar Chavez Elementary School. June 9th, 59-year-old black man savagely beaten by Northwest Savagely beaten in Northwest Eugene by three white men. June 9th, Holocaust denier David Irving at Pacifica Forum. June 19th, anti Semitic graffiti found on Jewish family's house in Northwest Eugene. June 21st, object with racist messages attached, thrown through window of a business owned by a black man. June 23rd, anti-Semitic graffiti found on DeFazio footbridge. 
June 24th, White Separatist Tomislav Sunik at Pacifica Forum. It just breaks my heart and really pisses me off that this kind of stuff can go on anywhere. We need more love in the world. We need more kindness in the world. We don't need this crap. That's just what it is. It's crap. We've got to stop this kind of nonsense from happening anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the U.S. You must protest this kind of bullshit. I'm not saying you have to, but if you're any kind of a Christian, you've got to stop this. Anyway, that's all I've got to say about this.